All right, let's continue with this model. So I'm going to select my model and just scale it out. Since my model is a little bit big, so definitely I want to make want to make sure that my speaker is a little bit bigger. So you want to keep your proportions accurate. So stick with the proportions. Always check your proportions. This is necessary and looks fine to me. So I'm going to continue. And I'm going to select these corner edges just by double clicking over there. And I'm going to apply a chamfer over here. Since I'm looking for a slanted design over there, so that's why I'm going to apply the chamfer and check if it's work. Gonna apply the turbo smooth and just increase the iteration about two. And that's not what I was looking for it. So I might hit undo two times and try it again. And maybe a simple chamfer might work and no that's that's not what I was looking for it so and this this happens so what you wanted to do with it is just apply it and play it and check if it's work so I'm going to apply the chamfer over here and this time I'm going to apply a swift loop to the corners so it's more like a supporting loops and gonna check with my turbo smooth and yeah that's what I was looking for it. It looked perfect. Great. So let's continue. So this time I'm going to create a USB port over here since these uh, days where we got a new technology that you can apply the pen drive over there. So I'm going to apply to insert and just giving space over there. So I'm just doing experiment over here. Gonna check if it works and uh, there's a problem and there's an issue the problem is that that I can couldn't able to apply the supporting loop so that's why I'm going to start with the swift loop and keep everything stays in the quad always make sure you always stick with the quads because the thing is that when you're applying the turbo smooth or just smoothing out your geometry so the quad is the best geometry that you can get a nice result if you have n-gons, that means the five-sided five-sided phases or maybe six-sided phases. So this might be can be a problematic. So you just want to be aware. So I'm just applying the supporting loops loops over there. Once I got the loops, then I will carry on and gonna test with the turbo smooth. And it looks fine to me. Great. Now. What I want the next step is that I want the speaker on the right side as well. So I'm going to apply the swift loop by holding on shift. So the swift loop becomes into the center and I'm going to do a chamfer with the vertices and always want to make sure that everything stays in quad. So I'm just working with my cut tool and apply the geo poly. So the shape of the topology comes in rounded. And I love this geopoly to be frankly. So now in this scenario, I want my speaker into, I uh, just wanted to rotate it, but since the pivot point is into the center of the uh, speaker, it's problematic. So what I did is just selecting all and putting a group into it and just bring the model into the center of the grid, which is necessary. So this time I'm going to select the speaker and change the pivot into the center and by holding down shift and rotating the speaker there we go and just hit OK and bring my again center pivot into the center of the speaker and just move it out place it a little bit offset but that's fine I can place it by with the move tool and just eyeballing and once I got the eyeball then I can adjust it and it looks fine to me Great. Now, I will create a cylinder, and this cylinder is for more like a, I don't know what it says, I think the pop filter or maybe a chooser, that's what it says, but um, it's going to cover up that speaker, so I'm just creating that cylinder and just bringing it out, and uh, just giving it a little bit space, and 
adjusting and playing with the shape. Make sure I just convert it into polygons and selecting those edges and just bring it out as a supporting loops again. Selecting those back faces which is not going to be visible so you can delete it. And selecting this edge and just bring it out. Now this gives me a nice supporting loops which is perfect. For the speaker I might need to bring it a little bit back. So I'm going to select polygons of these by holding down control and just grow the selection and just pull it back. There we go. That's what I was looking for it. Once I got this then I'm going to select my cylinder and just selecting those faces and I'm going to hit extrude by right clicking and almost over there. I'm gonna scale it and the one and I think I'm going to stick with this shape just a little bit tweaking there we go little bit scaling it's fine okay so now I'm going to switch to my swift loop and adding some loops over there. And just to scale it down. There we go. Just giving a shape. Now it's not on my reference so I'm making on my own and just playing with this. So that's what I recommend it. When you're doing the modeling always think as a toy and just play with this. Don't stick the reference as 100%. Now it's depend on the situation, but if you're creating your own model, then 100% don't stick with this 100% with this model. Put some ideas on it. And right now I'm just doing an extrude and I'm going to delete those faces, just making a hole over there. Once I got the hole, then obviously I'm going to apply the supporting loops. The, the trick is that uh, to apply the supporting loop always put it onto the corners and check the loop is going all the way if it's breaking somewhere then it's a then it could be a problematic so you just want to be aware of that again playing with the shape just a little bit tweaking now you will notice that the topology or the faces are acting weird. Now that is called artifacts and this happens so no worries about that. So that's why I just deleted that edge. And still I have the artifact but if I do some smoothing on it, those artifacts will be gone. So no worries about that. So just apply the turbo smooth and as you can see artifact is gone. Which is a nice clean topology. Once I got this, then I'm going to select my mesh and obviously going to delete my turbo smooth and just selecting these faces. Now I know it's in triangle and triangle are acceptable, but not the uh, end gons. So you want to be aware of that. So I'm going to make some, uh, do some uh, material on it and just going to apply a simple material. So I'm just doing uh, experimenting over here. Just looking for a fine material and the materials I'm going to apply on the opacity the trick is that if I get the um, I mean onto the material if I see this material this material is totally the black and white so if I have the black value those uh, black parts will be not visible except the white parts the white part are going to be visible in the opacity and that's how opacity works so I'm just applying onto the fuse as well and it's not working as I was expecting so what I'm going to do is just switch to the Photoshop and create my own texture over here I'm gonna switch to 1000 by 1000 pixels and just go to my shape tool and just holding down shift and alt to create a perfect circle and holding down alt to create the duplicate 
Once I got this, then I'm going to switch to my move tool and just align them. Hold down Alt to creating the duplicates and again align them. There we go. Looks perfect. And as you can see, this the information is in black and white. So the black part is not going to be visible and the white part is going to be visible. So I'm going to apply into my diffuse first call the bitmap and there you have it and just increase the tiles now this texture is tileable so you can increase the tiles as much as you want once I got this then I can apply the UVW map and just a little bit scaling now in the modifier you can find a UVW map and UV unwrap UVW as well so I would recommend play with both and looks fine to me and once I got the shape then I'm going to swap this material to the opacity as well just clear it out from this diffuse and uh, there we go and maybe I just switch to the output just to check it's okay and maybe I just go with the black color and there we go that's what I was looking for it and just looks fine yeah there we go so once I got the shape then I'm going to apply the turbo smooth now here's the important thing I'm going to bring this model into the key shot and key shot works like this if I apply the material onto my let's say the body and uh, the USB port is also connected with the body so the material is going to be applied onto this so what I'm doing is separating my USB port to give us a uh, separate material onto it so want to make sure with that so it's necessary obviously once I uh, separate the object I want to go with the supporting loops, uh, loops as well so that's what I did and once I got this then I'm going to play with the turbo smooth and check everything so everything looks nice so once it's completed so I'm going to switch to the key shot in the next lesson we're going to cover up the key shot so see you guys